Okay, a little bit of a uh, update here. I was, had to order a brand new steam dome collar from Allen Models, and this, of course, I ordered from Allen Models of Nevada, which is the new company that took over for Gene Allen. And I'm very happy to report they uh, now sell these castings, which were formerly all aluminum. They sell them in cast iron, and I've just finished machining this one out. And you can see all I, I put an old T-shirt over the lathe bed so that I wouldn't get all the cast iron um, nodules in. But man, this thing it it um, it turned very nicely. It's beautiful. I wasn't going for any kind of a, a, a great finish there. Um, just trying to to get the thing opened up so it would fit over the steam dome, and it's quite a big opening. It's over. It's almost four and a half inches. Um, let's see. What do I got here? Yeah, about 440, uh, four inches, 440 thousandths to uh, get over the steam dome. I'm using this is my 12 inch um, steric calipers. That um, anyway, so it's cleared out. I used a 3 8 inch boring bar. That's the same boring bar that I used to machine the cylinders, and it's very it's rock steady. Part of this is an interrupted cut because of the design of the saddle so it uh, it held steady and did a very very nice job so I'm very thrilled with that I'll show it I've, I'm gonna have to um, use an angle grinder and grind it out so the curvature matches exactly the um, the outside of the boiler with the boiler jackets on so I'll have to show that at a later date but you can get a, a view of the inside here what I used was I taped some small brass rectangular pieces onto each of the jaws of the three jaw chuck and then it held fine so very very pleased that that came out so nicely if those of you that are regular watchers may recall that I had an aluminum one with which came with the original casting set that I bought and I had it clamped in the mill vise but it wasn't properly clamped down and I ended up ruining it um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what happened other than clearly I didn't have it properly clamped down. It, it, I was using the mill, I was using a boring bar, which is just not a good idea because, you know, a four inch hole and it had a big, had a big uh, boring head. I was getting a great finish on this aluminum one, but something caught and it just ripped out and made a horrendous noise and, and shattered the aluminum casting. So, terrible. Um, result there. I hate to even show that, but anyway, very thrilled that the, uh, the cast iron one came out so nicely. Thanks for watching. I'll keep y'all posted.